great. So um, yesterday we talked about, and I'm sorry, I'm going to mute everybody. Yesterday we talked about parts of speech and we met some new superheroes. And so I want to introduce those superheroes to the kids that weren't with us yesterday. And for those that were here, I think that was Mila and Juliana and Rami. This will be a nice way for you guys to, to review it, okay? So I'm gonna introduce everybody to our superheroes once again uh, in just a second, of course. I'm gonna introduce everybody. Ba -ba -bum. And come on, Papa. Papa. Come on, Papa. Okay. All right. Very good. So this is our Green Schoolhouse Presents. Can you guys all see my screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Yeah? Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Very good. So uh oops so i'm gonna mute everybody once again mute oh it's not working one that's it that that I can put it right over here. Give me this. Sorry, everybody. A little technical. No, that's it. Technical difficulties. So here we go. Can you guys all see my screen now? Yes. Very good. Okay. Fantastic. So we are going to meet our new superheroes. Who remembers the name of this superhero right here this this young man in the blue cape those of you that were here yesterday who remembers that young man Superman. Noun boy. yes his name is noun boy of course noun boy. noun boy and this this superhero right here who remembers who was here yesterday who remembers what she's called She's called the adverbinatrix, right? And this one here is called? This is adjective. And this is verb girl, right? Let's meet them and figure out what they do. No, Papa, not again. We're going to play games. Like, do we want to play games? But first, we have to remember our superheroes. Okay, but could I want to play games? Yeah. Play games for no, I have games prepared here. Я уже приготовил классные игры. Here, oh yes. So noun boy, he names. Одну, go. So noun boy names people, places, and things. Right. So, for example. If you can look at something and you can say, what is that? The answer is, the answer to the question, what is that, would be a noun, right? So, for example, so, for example, if we look at, can everybody see uh, Mila's screen? Everybody see Mila's giraffe? Yeah? Does everybody see Mila's giraffe? Alexa, do you see Mila's giraffe? Remy, do you see Mila's giraffe? Mila, do you see your own giraffe? Yes? Giraffe, giraffe is a noun, right? What else is a noun? Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Juliana, give us another noun. Um, Dasha. Yep, I'm a noun. Uh, Alexa's wearing headphones. Headphones are a noun. <clears throat> um, Rami's wearing a t-shirt. T-shirt is a noun, right? Um, uh, Lana is wearing a fur vest. A fur vest is a noun, right? 
Uh, Wyatt is wearing a blue t-shirt. T-shirt is a noun. Remy is in front of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is a noun. And the Eiffel Tower is in France. And France is a noun, right? Anything that is a person, place, or a thing is a noun. And that's what this superhero noun boy tells us, right? Now, we're going to meet another superhero. And her name is Verb Girl, right? Juliana, can you tell us what does Verb Girl do? What's her role? Very good, uh, Rami, and and Juliana. Very good. She names actions. Rami, can you give me an example of an action word? Jumping. Jumping. Perfect. Juliana, give me another one. Um. Fantastic. Alexa, Alexa, can you give me an example of a an action word? Something that you do. Okay, put it down here. Sit down. You want to sit in this chair, though? Yeah? Good. Sit down. Um, give me another example of an action word. Uh, um, Alexa, give me an example of a word that's something that you do, anything. <clears throat> what are you doing right now, Alexa? Oh, I can't hear you. Can you unmute yourself, Alexa? There we go. What are, um, you, what are you doing right now? Sitting. 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 Perfect. Sitting is a verb. It's an action word, right? Alexa is sitting. Remy, can you give me an example of an action word? Running. Running. Excellent. Running. Very good. Um, Alexa, yeah. Alexa, Running. give Running. Uh, So our action words are called verbs. That's what our superhero verb girl does, right? Can I have, um, can I have, let me see, who do we have here? Um, Wyatt, can you hear me, Wyatt? Yeah. Can you give me an example of an action word? What are you doing right now? Uh, sitting. Sitting, very good, very good, thank you, Wyatt. And what about Mila? Mila, can you give me an example of an action word? Sitting too. You're sitting. Everybody is sitting. Okay. And what about uh, Rami? Give me another example of a verb, an action word. Rami. Uh, unmute yourself, Rami. There we go. About dancing. Dancing. Fantastic. Fantastic action word. And what about Mila? Give me another action word. Um, word um, anything you, anything you do. What's that? Swaying. Swaying. Very no, good. Swaying. Playing. Playing. Very good. Um, Lana. Today I didn't go outside. Um, have one walk because mom forgot to put on a sunscreen and that was too hot. Ah, so okay. I'm going to go for a walk very, at night. Very good. So here's a, a tricky question for you guys. Is, is sunscreen, what part of speech is sunscreen? Which superhero do we need for the word sunscreen? Noun boy. Very good, Juliana. We need noun boy because sunscreen is a noun. It's a noun. It's a thing, right? It's a thing, just like a giraffe is a thing. Lana, can you hear me, Lana? Yeah. Lana, can you give me an example of an action word? Something that you do. You can tell me in English or you can tell me in Russian. Скажи мне слово какое-то действие, что-то, что ты делаешь. Любое слово. Что ты делаешь сейчас? I'm, um, I'm... Что, что ты делаешь сейчас, Лана? Вот прямо сейчас. Eating. 
Eating, very good. She's eating. Eating is an action word. Fantastic. Alexa, give me another example of an action word. A verb. Another verb. Walking fast. Walking. Fantastic. Excellent job. So, I think everybody's got it. That is what verb girl does, right? Verb girl is our superhero that brings us words that are actions, things we do, right? So noun boy tells us things that are, are people, places, and things. So anything where you have to ask the question, what is that? Noun boy will tell us. And anything that's an action word, like something that you do, Verb Girl will tell us that, right? Now we have a third superhero, and we're just remembering these again to review from yesterday because this is challenging stuff, okay? Here's our superhero named Adjective. Dove, do you remember what Adjective does? What does Adjective do, Dove? Which kind of words does Adjective help us with? No. Adjective helps us make words that describe nouns, right? So if you have a noun, like if you have a giraffe, or if you have a water bottle, or if you have the Eiffel Tower, or if you... Oh, oh, I can. Oh, the come, come here, come here. The giraffe. The giraffe. The giraffe is black. The giraffe is black, for example, right? It tells us, it describes our nouns for us. So, for example, if we wanted to ask Remy, Remy, uh, tell me about the Eiffel Tower. What is it like? The Eiffel Tower is brown. The Eiffel Tower is brown. Fantastic, Remy. Excellent job. And that describes the Eiffel Tower. What else do we know about the Eiffel Tower? What else is it like, Remy? Um, very tall. Very good, Rami. The Eiffel Tower is tall, right? What else? <laughs> what, else do we, what else do we know about the Eiffel Tower? One more thing. Um, it's a little bumpy. The Eiffel Tower is a little bumpy, right? All of those words, brown, tall, bumpy, all of those words are called adjectives. Very good. Adjectives. Fantastic. Juliana, tell me about your hair. What is it like? What is your hair like? It's, it's curly and brown. It's curly and brown. Fantastic. You see how just with two words, even if we didn't know what Juliana looked like, even if we never saw her picture on the screen, if she told us my hair is curly and brown, we would know roughly what her hair looks like, right? What else? Give me one more adjective about your hair, Juliana. It's curly, brown, and? It's pretty long. It's pretty long. You see, if, even if we saw nothing about Juliana, if we never met her, if we never saw her, and she just told us, my hair is curly, brown, and pretty long, we would pretty much know what her hair looks like, right? Adjectives are very, very powerful. Rami, tell me about your sister. <laughs> Give me three adjectives about your sister. That's what she does, but but how can you describe her? Like, she washes the dishes, so that means she's helpful, right? Yeah. She's helpful. What else? Give me another adjective about her. Very long hair. What's that? Pretty long hair. Okay, she has long hair. That's That describes her. Um, but it's not really an adjective. Is she pretty? Yes. Is she, is she a beautiful girl? Yes. <clears throat> That's perfect. That's another adjective. Very good. Okay. Lana, what's your what's your cat's name? Как зовут твою кошечку? Sonia. Sonia? 
Как, как? Um, 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 у него есть два имя. Ага, и как его зовут? Фоня Милофон. А, Фоня Милофон. Окей, okay, that's the name of Lana. Да, но, но просто его зовут Фоня, но его зовут, но полное имя, имя его зовут Милофон. Милофон. Очень хорошо. Расскажи нам, пожалуйста, and sorry, guys, for those of you that don't speak Russian, I'm going to talk to Lana in Russian for a minute. Lana, скажи мне, пожалуйста, три вещи про твоего котика, про Фоню. Скажи мне, какой он? Он серый, он любит um, очень-очень сильно кушать um, его любимую консерву. И он еще любит селеменное окошко быть. Aha, very good. So Lana said that her that her cat Fonya is gray. So that's a great adjective. He's gray. He likes to eat canned food, so he's hungry. Hungry is another adjective, right? And he likes to sit on the window because he likes to look out at the street. And I think because he likes to sit on the window, he's curious, right? He's really interested. <laughs> Oh, once more, he's not teaching. I didn't hear you. We don't hear you either. Yes, we don't, I don't hear you either. No problem, how about now? Yes, now we can hear you. Uh-huh, that's probably why. Okay, very good. Uh, now, uh, Mila. Hi, Mila. Tell us three things about your giraffe. Can you describe your giraffe for us? Uh, can I describe my cat? Of course you can. Describe your cat for us. Okay. Uh huh. She's wearing a hat. Uh huh. There, there, there she is. Okay. Tell us about your cat. Describe her. She likes to. <laughs> likes to. Tell, describe your cat for us. What color is she? Black. Perfect. She's black. Very good. That's a great adjective. And tell us something else about and, her. And, and this is the yellow. And she has a yellow collar. Uh huh. And her eyes are yellow too. Okay. Is she is she fluffy? Is she no, soft? She's very soft. Is she nice or is she mean? Nice and one. She in closet. She she's very gentle. She's very gentle. Oh, what a wonderful adjective, she Mila. She doesn't let me touch her, her paws because he she has very sharp paws. What a wonderful adjective. She's very gentle. Beautiful. Thank you, Mila. Okay, now Alexa. Hi, Alexa. Alexa, can you tell me, very funny, Alexa, I see what you did there with your name. She changed her name to Rami on the, on the Zoom. Very clever. I like it. Okay. Alexa, tell us about your snails. Can you describe your snails for us? Everybody remember Alexa has snails? Can you describe your snails? Mm. Uh, they like to eat leaves. They, they like to eat leaves, so they're hungry. So hungry is an adjective, fantastic. Give us another one. Are they, they have, their homes are with shells, their houses are shells. Mm-hmm, okay, let's see how we can turn that into an adjective. Um, there's probably one, well, are they fast or slow? Slow. They're slow. Slow is an adjective, right? Because it describes the snail. It's a word that describes the snail. They're slow. Are they um, rough or smooth? 
kind of smooth. Kind of smooth. Are they slimy? Yeah. Slimy. See, we got some great adjectives about the snails, right? Fantastic job, everybody. Those are. And um, <laughs> they actually crawled away. I don't know if they're actually still in my garden because I saw them in my garden, and then uh -huh. I. And then after that, I collected more than they went away. And my grandma told me I shouldn't keep them in my garden because I have lots of stuff growing. And then they went away. I don't really know if they're still in my garden. Mm, okay. Well, maybe they'll come back. Hey, Wyatt, can you hear me, buddy? Yeah. Wyatt, what did you have for lunch today? Uh, great fun, that's it. Can you tell me what it was like? Was it hot or was it cold? It was fine. It was fine, okay. And was it delicious or was it yucky? It was delicious. It was delicious. Was it sweet or was it salty? It was sweet. Sweet, you see, beautiful. We know that he, he had um, some, some uh, buckwheat for lunch and it was fine and it was sweet and it was hot, right? So we got some more adjectives, fantastic. We're gonna learn uh, and review for those of you that were here yesterday, we're gonna review one more superhero and then we're gonna do some other stuff, okay? So we've learned. I'm so tired. You are, I know, I'm sorry. We're gonna play some games in a minute. So we had nouns, those are people, places, or things. That's noun boy. And then verbs, which are action words like sitting and jumping. Wait. Yes. Can you read the words? Sure. This is noun boy. He names people, places, and things. Anything you can point to and say, what is that? He can tell you. And verb girl says, I make words that describe actions. If you can do it, I have a word for it. And then adjective, the one that we just talked about, he makes words that describe nouns. If you have a noun and you need to know what it's like, adjective can tell you. For example, is it a nice cat or a mean cat? Is the milk hot or is the milk cold? Nice, oh. mean, and hot and cold, those are all adjectives. Right? And now we're gonna learn our last uh, one, which is I think the hardest one. This superhero is called the adverbinatrix and she makes words that describe how a verb is being done. For example, um, Alexa, when you run and race against your friends, do you run quickly or do you run slowly? Quickly. Quickly. Quickly is an adjective because it tells you how you do a certain action. Uh, Lana, when your cat, Fonya, когда он кушает, он кушает медленно или он кушает быстро? Very good. So when Lana's cat eats, it's quickly. Quickly is an adjective. Remy, when you, um, let's see, what do you, what kind of, uh, what kind of sports do you like to play, Remy? Tennis. 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 Um, when you play tennis, do you play well or do you play poorly? Well. You play well. Very good. When you, um, let's see, when you, when you, when you, when you go to play tennis, do you, do you play, um, um, ex, I'm going to mute everybody. Hang on. Hang on. <clears throat> when you play tennis, do you play excitedly? Like, are you excited to go and play or do you play reluctantly? Like you're not excited. You don't really want to do it. Laura. Reluctantly? Okay, fantastic. That, that's an adverb, right? Those are all words that describe how an action is being done. Okay, fantastic. Let's take a break from this. This was a lot. We're going to play a game. You guys ready to play a game? Yes, very good. Dover, are you ready to play with us? Come play, come play a game with us. It's going to be pretty fun. So yesterday, when we were doing our slides we met hang on let me go past this we met this guy do you guys remember what this guy is called the riddler 
He is called indeed the Riddler. Let me unmute everybody. The so Riddler <coughs> is the bad. He's he is pretty cool. Can you guys all see my screen? Is he a bad guy? <laughs> this is, is, he a, is he a bad guy? Well, he's not a bad guy. He's he's kind of a villain, but he's more um he's more about making hard and challenging puzzles for you guys. He's not a bad guy. He's not going to hurt anybody, but he's um he makes puzzles. He makes riddles. That's why we call him the Riddler. So now I've got a riddle for you guys, okay? Here's our first riddle. Are you ready? Can you all see my screen? Yes. Fantastic. So here is here is here are our our two riddlers. Can you see our two riddlers on the screen? Yes. Now, who can tell me the difference between these two pictures? Can you just spot the difference? Yes, Remy. Um, their hats are different. How are they different? Um, one of them is lighter green and then dark green with the rest, and one of them is purple and then dark green. Fantastic. That's absolutely right, Remy. That's absolutely right. This one has a green stripe on his hat, and this one has a purple stripe. Really good, you guys. Next one. You ready for the next puzzle? Okay. I'm just going to go the first person to, to raise their hand and answer. I'm just going to go with that. Okay. Here is the next. Hold on. Hold on. Here is the next puzzle. You ready? Here are two more Riddlers. What's different about these pictures? Yes, Alexa. Um, um, their sticks are pointing the other ways. Their sticks are pointing different ways. What and, else? And the question. And the, um, the, the marks that, um, that are really question marks. Are the yes, other way. the question marks are pointing another way. What else is different? Everybody? Ways. That's right, Rami. Their hand, his hand is going the other way. That's absolutely right. His hand is backwards. His stick is backwards. The question marks are all backwards. He's basically flipped, like looking in a mirror, right? Very good, you guys. Good eye. Good job. Are you ready for the next puzzle? <clears throat> okay. Here we've got two noun boys. Right. Can you tell us what's different about the noun boys? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't. Their glasses. Their glasses are what? One is red. One is red and one is yellow. What yeah. else is different? Their boots. Yellow. The yellow boots and red boots. Yes, very good. That's right. Yellow boots and red boots. What else is different? There's one more uh, thing. White. Very good, Remy. That's right. The first one has a white smile and the other one has a yellow smile. You guys are really good at this game. Boy, you, the Riddler can't fool you. Uh, okay, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Very good. You got it. You found it. See, the glasses are different, the smile is different, and the boots are different. Okay, next one. Oh, it's the Adverbinatrix. <clears throat> What's different about these two? And her cheeks. And her cheeks. And her cheeks. And her star. Her star is purple. And her star is different. Very good. Well, you guys, this is too easy for you. This is way too easy. You guys are so smart. Good job, everyone. Her star are different. The shoes are different. The... The smiles are different. No, the I smiles mean, are the same. I mean the cheeks. The cheeks, yeah. Very good, everybody. I love that everybody's participating and answering. Good job. Okay, here's the next one. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Almost screwed that one up. What's different about... Stars and crowns. And crowns. Stars yeah. and crowns. Stars and crowns. Crown, yes, the star and her crown. And what else? The mask. The mask is different. Is anything else different? No. Uh, look, look carefully. There is one other thing. It's getting harder now. Look very carefully. There is one more thing. 
The whole mask. The yeah, the mask, mask. We, we got. We, we got the mask and we got the crown and the star in the crown. What else? There's one more thing. Look carefully. Now it's challenging. Now you guys really got to work. Who can spot it? What else is different? Anybody? No, nobody? Really? Rami, Juliana, Mila? I'm still thinking. I'm not giving up. Okay, don't give up. I'll give you guys a little more time. Dove, look carefully. Cheeks? Don't... No, not the cheeks. Look at everybody's looking at her face, right? Because that's where you see the glasses and the crown. Who pants has extra stripes? Very good, Juliana. That's right. The one on the left has black stripes on her pants, and the one on the right does not. Here's our I'm gonna show you the answer. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Fantastic. One more. Fantastic. More. There's gonna yeah, there's gonna be another one. Hang on a second. There's gonna be one more. Adjective. Um adjective. Yeah, hang on. Adjective is coming. I just have to uh unshare my screen for a minute. So hold on, bear with me. Bear with me here. I made a I made a small mistake. Dove, can you close your eyes for a second so we so you don't see? Hang on, guys. The next one's called Dove. Close your eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes because I made a mistake. Close your eyes. Go look. If you cheat, I will be very upset. I made a mistake here, so I can't show you guys. Go look. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm not going to let you answer. Hang on, I'm almost ready to uh, show you, but don't look. Dove, if you're cheating, I'm not going to let you answer. I'm not cheating. Okay. Hold on, everybody. Oh. Sorry, Papa Papa made a mistake, and I apologize. No. Had to fix it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Had to fix it. No. And now I'm going to share my screen again. And now on onwards we go. I saw that Dove peeked a little. I know. Well, Dove can't answer now. No, he... I didn't peek. Okay. What's the difference between our two adjectives here? You got I it? just peeked because I, I peeked, <laughs> but I didn't look at the computer. Okay. I just, I'm, I'm going to open my eyes. Okay. So here's our, here's our two adjectives. Let's, let's, let's take a look at them. What's the difference? Nothing. No. Do you want me to give you some more time? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll give you another minute. We don't think we see any. There's one little dot missing on his shoe. There's one little dot missing on her shoe. One little dot? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't see that. <clears throat> I do. Oh, no, that's right, you guys. Who who said there's no difference? Alexa, that's right. It was a trick question. There is no difference between them. Very, very good, you guys. Great job. Okay, fantastic. Now, of course, was that fun? Did you guys like that? Yeah. Good, because of course our, our Riddler is still here and he's got more fun games and puzzles for us to do. Would you guys like to play? Would you like to play the next game? Yes. Uh, I'm super duper 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 tired and I'm so hot. Oh my goodness. Well, stick with us if you can. We'll play a little bit more games, okay? And if you want to take a break, you can take a break. There's no problem. So here we go. Here is our next game. Dovey, you ready? <clears throat> the Riddler is back, and this game is called... Read that. Game. Game. Game number three. You scramble. Unscramble. Unscramble. Right? This, the way this game works is... I'm going to show you a, a word that the Riddler has uh, mixed up all the letters because he's sneaky. And you've got to figure out the real word. Are you ready? 
Here we go. Ready, Juliana? Yeah. Okay. Here comes our next word. Boom. That's the first word. Who can unscramble that and make the real word? Jam. 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 Very good. Jam. That's right. The word is jam. Good job, you guys. You ready for the next one? You got to be quick. Bat. Cat. Very good. That is the I word. Said, I said half. The Riddler is super sneaky, you guys. Ready? Jing. King. King. Very good. King. King is the next word. Okay, ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Cask. Uh, Cask. Cask. Cast. 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 Yeah. cast. Can we make another word besides cast? Very good. Can we make another word? No. Cats. Cats. That's right. Very Cats. good. Cats. Ready for the next one? Yes. Lamp. No. There's no M here. Plane. Wow, Juliana, great job. That was a really hard one. Plane. Very good. One more? Yes. Yeah. Yummy. Human. No. Yummy. No, not yummy. No, not yummy. You gotta unscramble it. It's gonna be different than what you're looking at here on the screen. Maybe it doesn't start with Y. Maybe it starts with something else. Menu. No. Menu. No, not menu. 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 Minion. No, not minion. Menu. Yes. Who said that? Is that Mila? Yes. Very I good. It's, it's money. Money. Right? Like something you buy things for. Money. Very good, Mila. Okay. How about this one? This one is hard. Zap. Zap. Zip. 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 Zipper. No. Pizza. Pizza. Very good, Juliana. Pizza. Excellent. That was a hard one. Pizza. Pizza. Right? Pizza. Pizza. How about this one? Teeth. 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 Wow. She was right there. She Teeth. was super quick. Teeth. That's right. Very good, Juliana. How about this one? Hair. Hair. Not hair. There's a C. We gotta use the C. Um, hair. No. I'll give you a hint. There's two letters in there that are supposed to make one sound. Pumpkin. Chair, very good, Julia. I think we almost had it. Chair, very good, very good. Uh, let's see how many more we got. That's it. I think that's our last one. Oh, this is the super hard one. This is probably impossible. It's so hard. Mew Baxo. Mailbox. Who said mailbox? I did it. Remy, you are a monster. That is amazing. How did you do that? 
Incredible. Mailbox. That's right. Very good, Remy. It's Mailbox. Well, I, I didn't think anybody was going to get that one. Okay. Here is our last game for today. Okay, guys? This game is called Brain. I'm so tired. You know, I know. This no, is, that's not the last This is fun. Well, the, yeah, then Dove is going to show you a different game. So here's the game. We're going to play it. Name seven things you can wear on your feet that start with the letter S. Let's see if we can do it together. Let's name Come seven up. things that you can wear on our feet that start with the letter oh. S. Hang on. Good. Good. Shoes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got socks. Shoes. Shoes. What else? Slippers. Slip. Wow, amazing. Slippers. Good job, though. Slip on. What's that? Slip on. They're a type of shoe. Slip ons. Good, I'll take that. Slip ons. What else? Three more. Three more things you can wear on your feet. Start with letter S. Sandals. Sandals. Who said that? I did. Remy, amazing. Good one. Slippers. Yeah, we got slippers already, Alexa. Uh, we need two more. Sandals. Sandals we got. I know like a machine that you can that uh, you can wear. It's a very soft machine. What do I think is like? No, we need somebody who starts with us. Think about think about sports, you guys. Think about sports. Soccer shoes? Mm, it's kind of like shoes. No, those no, are called, soccer. Yeah, those are called cleats. They start with a C. What else? Think about sports. The letter S. We need two more. We're almost there. Come on, guys. Let's do it together. Uh, sneakers. 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 Good job. That's a good one. Sneakers are like sports shoes. Um, one more. I'm sorry for the song because... That's okay. Something put on. Sneakers and just one more. Think about sports. Different sports that we play. What sports uh, do we play in the winter? Hockey. Not hockey shoes. Well, hockey shoes, what are those called? I don't know. What are hockey shoes called? Or when you go on the ice, what are those called? Ice skates. 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 Very good, you guys. Amazing job. Skates. That's right. We got all seven. And I'm pretty sure that um, I'm pretty sure that the Riddler had. Uh, the similar list. Let's see what the Riddler had. The Riddler had shoes, sandals, socks, slippers, sneakers, skis. That was the other one. Skis, right? Skis and skates. Well, you guys did a great job. Amazing, amazing work. Really, really strong work today. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, Dove wants to tell you about a really cool game that we play at home with, with him and, and me. And we're well, we can't play it because we can't play it through the computer. But I want you to show the kids the game so that their parents can play with them because it is super fun, okay? Can you bring it over here and show them and what it's called and tell them about it? Okay, I'm going to get out of the way so Dove can tell you guys. What? Why is Dove wearing a cowboy costume? Why? Dove, are you wearing a cowboy costume? Guys. Here's the game. This is called Ladybug Game. I'm showing them the box because it says the lady. It's called the Ladybug Game. And here's how the game. Everybody know the game. It's a huge game. I already know it. I already know it. I already know it. It's a star. And then the Ladybug is go through this if they go um can we show them a ladybug 
the, the little pieces look like this. There's an orange one, a blue one, a red one, a green one, I think. Okay. Okay. There's a That's fine. blue one, and uh, so I'm going to also show you um, a blue one, a yellow one, and a red one. Okay, and then how do you move through the game? How do you do the turns? You have these cards, that look like ladybug, right? And then you flip the card, right, Dove? Uh-huh. And the card and tells you what to do. Some cards that make you go back. Uh huh. And there are some cards. If they have these ladybugs, then that means you pull you pull a card, but not the other person does it. Then you go again. You pull a card. And then if you have a ladybug again, then you pull again and again until you just have a card without the ladybug. Yep, so the goal of the game is to move through the entire board, right? Uh-huh. And get to the... Home. Get to the home, to the finish line. Yeah. And the first ladybug to get to the finish line wins. So this game is called the ladybug game, and if you guys have... And a I love it. It's my favorite game in the whole... Uh, it's really cool. If you have a chance to play it, you should definitely get it and play it. Okay, say bye to our friends, though. Thank you very bye. much, you guys. We'll bye. see you tomorrow. Bye, have a good day. <laughs>